In this video, I will describe how to replace an older model 6172CV alarm control panel with a newer control panel that's the 6272CV. This is what an older 6172CV panel looks like. And here's the newer 6272CV. As near as I can tell, they operate exactly the same way. The only difference is they change the layout of the screen and what the icons look like. Oh yeah, there is one more difference. My older panel, top left corner, doesn't work anymore. Where the newer panel does work. And let's throw in a bonus. The new panel cost about half the price as the older panel. To replace this panel, this is what we're going to do. Remove power, both from the Vista 20 and the control panel. Pull the old unit off the wall. Disconnect four wires. Connect those same four wires to the new control panel. Install the new panel on the wall. Reapply power. And finally, program your user personal preferences into the control panel. Let's take a look at what this procedure looks like in real life. The first thing we're going to do is remove power. Go to your Vista 20P and open up the access panel. Most likely, since we're replacing an existing graphical user interface panel, you'll have a supplementary power supply that looks just like this. If you do have one, you'll see that you have two transformers plugged in. One will be for the supplemental power supply, the other will be for the Vista. You want to unplug both of these from the wall. Go back to your main panel. Unhook the battery that's hooked to your supplemental power supply. And disconnect your Vista battery. Lift up on the 6172 to remove it from the wall. You'll find four wires going into it in the back. Before removing these wires, mark where they go. You'll see a plus and minus for power, and a Y for yellow and G for green. A little jeweler screwdriver, Phillips, works fine for removing the wires. After the control panel is disconnected, Remove the mounting plate from the wall. It will be held on by four screws. Your new mounting plate will have a marking on it that says top. This end goes up. For the new unit you're going to put on the wall, just push up on it to remove it from the mounting bracket. Now you want to hold the mounting bracket in place. Mark where you're going to be mounting it. Now this came as a bit of a surprise to me since this is supposed to be a replacement panel. The hole cut in the mounting bracket that allows the wires to enter into it are in a different place. So you'll have to recut the hole where your wires come out of the wall. Hello, if anyone from Honeywell is watching, is there any way you can fix this problem with future models? Like maybe put the wire access hole in the same place as previous models? Just a thought. After you made the hole in your wall a little wider, you can mount your support bracket. Here's something that went relatively smoothly. The holes for the mounting screws are actually in the same place as the last control panel. So you can use your old screws as well as your old wall anchors. It's time to hook up your wiring. The connections are exactly the same as the last panel you just pulled them off of, and they're marked the same way. This process is much easier if you have someone hold the panel while you're installing the wiring. Place the panel against the mounting plate, line the mounting plate hooks up, then slide the panel down. That's it, your new panel is now mounted. It's time to apply power. You do, however, have to apply power to the alarm panel before you apply power to the control panel. To do this, first hook up the battery for the alarm panel. Then plug in the alarm panel transformer. Now we'll power the control panel. Go back to the alarm box and plug in the battery to the supplemental power supply. One more trip back over the wall outlet, and plug in the transformer to the power supply. The new control panel will go through a series of self-tests. Then this screen pops up asking for an address. Now, assuming you only have one graphical user interface control panel, address 1 is correct. Select OK. Select the link above if you want to learn more about addressing. Now it's asking which language you would like it to display in. English is default. It looks like you're up and running, but if you read the top of the screen, it says panel busy. Grab a cup of coffee and wait. I'm actually speeding the video up a little bit. No sense staring at a computer that's doing nothing. What it's doing now is reading the zone status from all the partitions that the Vista is monitoring. Well, that's it. We're finally up and running. The first thing we have to do is set the time. Press the tool button in the lower left hand corner, system setup, then time date setup. Here it's asking you for your pin number. It will be the same number you use for arming and disarming your alarm panel. To change the date time, select the field at the top of the screen, then change it to the desired value.
When you're all through making your entries, press the Apply button. Then press Yes to confirm. Now you're pretty much done installing your new control panel. If you want to use the multimedia function, the memory card that actually comes with the panel when you order it goes into the right hand side. And apparently you need to face it aft to make it go in. I'd like to take a second to clear up some confusion about setting your alarm. What exactly is the difference between selecting night and stay? Let's find out. You can see on the left hand side of the screen it says perimeter zones only. When you select night it assumes you're staying in the house. So motion sensors and interior sensors are disabled. This is to prevent you from triggering the alarm as you walk about inside. Now on the right hand side of the screen it says no entry delay. Since you've selected night, it assumes you'll be sleeping. It also assumes nobody else is coming into the house. So the time delays for entering the doors has been disabled. So if you're expecting anyone to come home that night, they will immediately trigger the alarm when they open the door. So don't select a night mode. Instead, select stay. Again, you'll see only your perimeter zone sensors are active. But additionally, your entry delay will be active so other people that know how to disarm the alarm can enter. Well, that's about it for this video. The user's manual for this panel will describe how to use its other features. And don't forget to visit my video describing how alarm system addressing works.